Hello YouTube. I'm in the process of making some new stuff or putting together new kits and I realized I've gradually updated um, one of my existing kits that I've already made a video on. It's my field soldering kit here. So I thought I'd show you the updates on that. Oh yes, also Obligatory internet cat tax. Hey, Roxy. It's good kitty. Alright. So let's get this position so you can all see. Alright. So, um, one new, not really relevant thing is the label. Uh, just for OCD purposes. Not really anything functional. Let's open it up. We're not going to really go over any of the things that we already covered in the previous video going over that. Um, pine sill right there. So the thumb screws arrived. So now I don't need that little Um, mini screwdriver to screw and unscrew this. I still decided to keep it in there uh, because there's other screws on there that I can access with it. So that's an update. Um, so I can change the tips without needing a screwdriver. Convenient. Uh, next up we have some kind of Call it gross and fine. These are the gross. Um, just tweezers with locks on them. They come to a yeah, pretty sharp point. But I would call them okay, not amazing. Uh, just some Amazon finds. But if you're soldering, tweezers and especially locking tweezers are convenient. So I added those. The really nice ones, of course, are the CHP uh, by Heiko. There's the 3CSA. Uh, very fine tip, very sharp tip. These are really excellent micro tweezers. Uh, needle tip, the tips perfectly align, so you can grab the tiniest little thing. Uh, next up, so the helping hands that I made, I had used them and I realized that little bit of gripping strength, especially when you're soldering something and the, uh, the PVC or whatever sheathing on wire you're soldering gets pinched, those alligator clips would bite in, penetrate it, leave unsightly bite marks and tiny little punctures, which are undesirable. So I put a couple layers of uh, just heat shrink wrap on them. So they don't have any hard bite now. They still hold just fine, but they no longer mar what I'm working with. Oh, hold on, my cat knocks out. Here you go, Roxy. So yeah, that was a uh, minor change, but definitely important for functionality and not damaging what I'm working on. Um, I'm not sure if I had this in last time. It's just some heat shrink. Uh, that's large heat shrink, and this is a collection of small heat shrink, as well as a couple extra thumb screws came in like a pack of 10 or 20, so I had plenty spare, and some of the spare regular screws that go with the pine saw. Uh, this case is, I think, the screw container case that originally came with the pine saw, and I just put a bunch of different size heat shrink in it, uh, different colors, different sizes, because, you know, if you're soldering, heat shrink is a natural come along. Uh, Full-size Bic lighter, which we'll get to that in a second. I mean, 
teacher ink, obviously, but also what do we have here? Uh, just some hot melt glue. Uh, this is the Stanley Dual Melt. After some research, I found that uh, one of the most highly regarded uh, quality glues was the Stanley Dual Melt Sticks. So this is a 12 inch stick that I just cut to fit. Um, it's not as convenient to work with if you don't have a glue gun, but you can just take the lighter, heat up the tip, and apply it to a surface and bond. So um, another thing, if you're soldering, often needing to glue some pieces together so that they'll stay in place either before or after soldering um, or if you have a cracked circuit board, it's an option. Maybe not the best option, but an option. Um, let's see. I don't think there's anything else new in here. Um, I added a ranger band to keep this closed uh, since I stuffed a little more stuff in it and that helps it stay put. And then there's a mini bic in there just to have backup. Um, I've already shown you the little solder stand there and this and there's uh, the top to that is underneath this a uh, little single use super glue because um, again if you're soldering making repairs uh, a little bit of super glue is sometimes called for. And I think that's all of the updates. Let's quick double check. Tweezers, thumb screws. Yeah. Yeah, some minor updates, but functional ones. And I wanted to uh, just get that on video. Put this back together. Oh, right. And um, obviously the mini bic is in there, so it's not going to get pressed. Uh, but the basically, I put the elastic under the lip of that uh, gas depressor so that it won't get uh, pushed down and won't leak. Um, and then the additional one here is kind of a just-in-case backup, two is one and all. Okay, that's it.